vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that you must see. The major downside of conventional aircraft is the necessity to build complicated infrastructure for them to be able to take off and land, get loaded or serviced, plus they require years of training to be piloted. But what if you could have a flying vessel in your garage or on your roof that would be much quieter, safer, far less expensive, could soar into the sky vertically and possibly would be fully autonomous? Check out our list of the vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that will conquer the sky in the nearest future. Enjoy your flight! Lilium Jet A small startup that was founded in 2015 by young aerospace engineers from the Tech University of Munich has joined the competition in changing the world of future transportation. This company has a promising potential, as even reputable investors and the European Space Agency have backed their project to build an all-electric VTOL aircraft. The Lilium Jet is a 1,320-pound fixed-wing two-seater plane that will be lifted in the air by 36 ducted fan engines rather than usual rotors. The flight of this aircraft will consist of three stages. Vertical takeoff. With the engines directed downwards, they will bring the jet hovering in the air. The flight. After the takeoff, the fence will slowly turn backwards and transition the plane into forward motion and landing. The process reverse to the takeoff stage. Once in the air, Lilium's wings and flaps will create conventional aerodynamic lift, and flaps coupled with engines will serve as steering surfaces. This propulsion and steering system will be controlled by a computer, and the transition between the hovering and flying modes should be seamless. At this point of development, Lilium is expected to have 440 pounds payload, estimated cruising velocity of 160 to 190 miles per hour, which is, by the way, a significant step up over the competition and range of 190 miles. Safety features will include flight envelope protection that will reject unsafe commands from the pilot and a whole aircraft parachute for emergency situations. Aurora VTOL the aircraft design is the result of hard work of engineers from Aurora Flight Sciences, who are currently working with Uber to deliver the first commercial VTOL for Uber Elevated Network. The first concept of Aurora is derived from XV24A X-Plane program that is currently run by the US Department of Defense. This vertical takeoff craft will combine the best technologies that Aurora has already developed including the autonomous flight guidance system from its Centaur optionally piloted aircraft, the perception and collision avoidance system from the AACUS program and the battery electric propulsion system from the XV24A. Uber has set high standards for this flying vessel. It should be emission-free, produce low levels of noise, be highly reliable and run at low costs. The preliminary goal of this partnership is to deliver 50 electric VTOLs by the end of 2020. Pop-up One of the most remarkable transportation solutions that have been recently introduced is the Pop-up, an elegant concept from Mattel Design and Airbus. Rather than trying to come up with an all-in-one quick fix, like a car that transforms into a plane or a helicopter, the engineers decided to create a modular vehicle where the capsule body, the chassis and the rotor system are independent components of a sophisticated urban mobility network. Being visionaries in their respective fields, Airbus and Natal Design want to combine the best of two worlds of air and ground transportation. The idea of the pop-up is that a carbon monocoque, able to accommodate up to two passengers, will also serve as the brain module of the vehicle. A state-of-the-art artificial intelligence will manage the route planning and passengers will only have to select the final destination. All the additional modules will be easily interchangeable and will attach and detach on demand. Preliminary designs for these other components include an extremely maneuverable quadcopter-like flying unit that is capable of vertical takeoff and landing and a four-wheel-like chassis that will serve as a ground mobility platform. Needless to say that the whole system will be electric-powered and emission-free. And moreover, the unique design of the capsule will also ensure the possibility of accommodating the pop-up to be compatible with other means of future transportation like hyperloops or magnetic levitation trains. Terrafugia TFX Manufacturer suggested retail price 
$300,000. When traveling on the roads and under becomes too boring for you, maybe the time has come to reach for the skies. Personal transportation has taken a leap forward in the century, and we are nearing the times of flying highways from back to the future. Terrafugia is a US-based company headquartered in Boston that is famous for developing the first fully autonomous flying car under the name Terrafugia TFX. This vehicle will be able to carry up to four passengers, but at the same time will be small enough to fit into a regular garage. Flying capabilities are ensured by retractable wings, two propellers and a fan at the rear. Power to the propellers will be provided by two plug-in hybrid electric engines with 600 horsepower output and an additional gasoline engine with 300 horsepower. The TF-Axis efficient fuel consumption will allow up to 500 miles of flying range with cruising speed of 200 miles per hour. But most importantly, Terrafugia made sure that this car will take off and land vertically and fly fully autonomously. However, in case of an emergency, safety parachute will be activated and you will be able to have a relatively soft landing. Yihang 184 The Chinese manufacturer Beijing Yihang Creation Science and Technology is convinced that drone quadcopter technology is not limited to filmmaking and spying on people. Not only do they have a concept in mind, but a nearly operational prototype of the first AAV in the world. Yihang 184 is an autonomous aerial vehicle, or simply put, a giant flying one-passenger drone that can take you anywhere you want and won't have to be piloted. This type of future transportation is aimed at solving the problem of congested roads by catering to the needs of people for medium and short-range everyday trips. This AAV is all-electric and carries a 17 kWh battery that provides up to 25 minutes in the air until the next recharge is needed. With a cruising speed of 37 miles per hour, Ehang can operate within the 10-mile radius and could be flown at the maximum altitude of 11,500 feet. 184 flies in an inverted U-shape with the help of eight rotors, four of which could fail and the quadcopter will still be able to land safely. Takeoff and landing are vertical and do not require a strip. The camera mounted on the bottom of the drone will locate the landing pad and safely descend the vehicle on the ground. Moreover, all of the piloting is done by an artificial intelligence, so you will only have to sit comfortably and select the destination on the screen. E-Volo Volocopter VC200 VC200 is the first multicopter from Germany that is certified for manned flights and is destined to start the new era of personal mobility in the urban environment. It is made of a light fiber composite material and looks like a giant drone. E-Volo comes with all-electric motors with 18 rotors with fixed blades, powered by 9 independent batteries. The setup is quiet and eco-friendly, which is hard to expect from conventional flying transport. Incredible stability of the Volocopter is ensured by the flight control system that compensates for external effects. The flight data is collected by a set of positioning sensors, including gyroscopes, accelerometers and magnetometers. Among VC200's advantages are vertical takeoff and landing capability, it can hover in mid-air, has a safety parachute and can be easily operated by a single joystick. An aircraft from Evolo is incredibly maneuverable in all axes and is rather fast, with a cruise speed of 60 miles per hour. Among the downsides are the short flying time of 20 minutes and small lift of 990 pounds that this aircraft currently possesses. However, with the fast development of battery technology, most likely the problem will go away soon. If you ever own an Evolo VC200, you will have to get certified to fly it. But luckily, this Velocopter has its own aviation class in Germany. Joby S2 Joby Aviation is the USA-based startup company that is determined to change the way we travel, play, work and live. Their concept is a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, 
Joby S2 that can carry two passengers and flies at the speeds of 200 miles per hour. It is all electric, quiet, consumes five times less energy than a car, but can take you to your final destination five times faster. Flying capability of this vehicle is ensured by 12 rotors, which are powered by electric motors, and fixed wings. These rotors will be able to change direction in order to lift off and propel the plane through the air. Engineers are planning to use the new cell technology in the batteries of S2. They will be made using the lithium polymer rather than the outdated lithium-ion technology. The body of the aircraft will consist of lightweight composite materials. Piloting of Joby should be rather easy and with the assistance of sophisticated software nearly autonomous. Since S2 is the work in progress, more technical specifications will be released soon, but from what we have seen so far, their concept looks rather impressive and promising. Jetpack Aviation VTOL The same people who are behind the creation of a renowned jetpack, David Mayman and Nelson Tyler, turned their efforts to building flying transport. As of right now, their work is solely on whiteboards and paper, and the tandem is trying to figure out the math and come up with the best solution to build the most efficient and safe VTOL. Their first working idea is a rotorcraft that can carry a single person and is fully electric. Early design concepts show that it will have five hands and five pairs of blades. The aircraft rotors will be powered by an electric motor that will be juiced by lithium-ion batteries. At this point, weight capacity ratio of these batteries allows only 20 minutes of flying, so most likely a generator will be needed to make it a viable aircraft or the concept will have to wait for a drastic improvement in the battery technology. The engineers are promising redundancy and safety and that you will be able to slowly descend even with half of the rotors malfunctioning and special airbags are planned for any other low-altitude emergency situations. Air Vinci This is a single-person helicopter that is classified as the ultralight aircraft with a weight of mere 260 pounds. This rotorcraft is lifted in the air by two ducted rotors with wide blades. Two independent engines that generate 28 horsepower each add redundancy and in case of any failure, a ballistic parachute is also available. The flight time reaches about 3 hours and the range is promised to be at 100 miles. Air Vinci could be both piloted and remote controlled. The latter feature allows it to be used in emergency situations, like wildfire and drifting ice evacuation. In addition, if the developers come up with intelligent autopilot technology, this personal helicopter could be used as a taxi cab, or with interchangeable modules, it could serve as a delivery drone. Trifan 600 XTI Aircraft Co. is behind the creation of this futuristic lightweight vertical takeoff aircraft. The idea behind the Trifan 600 is to save the time the successful businessman will spend on traveling to and from an airport by introducing a plane that can take off and land like a regular helicopter but has much higher speed and range. This flying vessel is a hybrid that will be powered by a sophisticated powertrain. Two high-performance turboshaft engines with 2,000 horsepower will be combined with dual generators, which in turn will produce electricity for electric motors that will power the three ducted fans. These fans are used to lift the jet vertically and within seconds the two wing fans will change their position for a seamless transition to the forward flight. The cruise speed of 390 miles is achieved in just 90 seconds after the takeoff and the lift is provided by the wings, like in any conventional fixed wings airplane. The Trifan, which is expected to cost around $11 million, can accommodate up to six people, pilot included, who will enjoy ultimate comfort and luxury of the cabin. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like this video, feel free to check out our previous releases, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell to get informed when new content comes out. Do not forget to like and leave a comment below to let us know what top list you would like to see in the next episode. May the torque be with you!